All right, fellas, today we're ranking all 45 Dr. Squash bar soaps. What's good, y'all? Steve from the Dapper Aristocrat, where every week we give you tips on how to look good, stand out, and get those compliments. There's 45 bar soaps that we have to cover, and this is a very high demand video that a lot of people have been asking me to do. I kind of hesitated to do it because last time I did all 31, man, that took a lot of work. This time we going at 45. So without further ado, let's get into the ranking. At 45, we got Dark Side Scrub. Dark Side Scrub was one of the first bars out of four created out of the Dr. Squash's Star Wars edition bar soaps. Now Dark Side Scrub is a heavy grip bar soap. It has a smoky fragrance to it. And that's why I wasn't a huge fan of it. At 44, we got Alpine Sage. Alpine Sage used to be Nautica Sage back when Dr. Squash first came out. I tried that bar soap out. It was one of my least favorite bar soaps out of the group of bar soaps that I had gotten. And at that time I had gotten like five or six different bar soaps and they changed it, they updated it. So now it's called Alpine Sage. They also have a deodorant available for it. I still have the deodorant, which I bought when they first created the deodorants and I haven't used it since it came out. I only used it one time and the deodorant was so strong that, oh my God, it was a very strong, very masculine, very earthy, and it wasn't really my cup of tea. So that's why this bar soap is at 44. At 44, I got Cold Brew Cleanse. Cold Brew Cleanse was a bar soap that has the fragrance of coffee. And this bar soap was nice to use. I remember getting it and I used the entire bar soap. I'm not a fan of coffee. That's why it's at 43. At 42, I have Spartan Scrub. Now Spartan Scrub was a very well thought out and created bar soap. The theme of it was Halo, which is one of my favorite video games at the time. One of the featured ingredients is Seven Bark Root. Seven Bark Root is an ingredient that helps relieve sore muscles and sprains, but it didn't smell that great. It had a smoky scent to it. I remember using this bar soap. I enjoyed it because it was a nice medium grip bar soap and it wasn't as aggressive. It was very comfortable to use, but I wasn't a fan of the fragrance because it was smoky. Brick of Death. Now I still have this bar soap and this bar soap was featured in the Halloween release bar soaps. Brick of Death is a limited edition bar soap. It has medium grit and they say it smells like unhallowed grounds which you know how Dr. Squash do. They always come up with these creative ways to say how it smells. My thoughts on the fragrance is, again, another smoky bar soap, but has a hint of an earthy fragrance to it. It's okay as far as the fragrance. All right, fellas, at 40, we have Pine Tar. Now, Pine Tar is everybody's favorite for some reason. I don't know why. Pine Tar is not my favorite though. Pine Tar used to remind me of Pine Saw. You know, the cleaning solution that you use to clean your toilets and mop your floors. Wasn't really the best smell of bar soap in my opinion. It's very piney, very masculine, but not my favorite. So I rank it at 40, but don't kill me in the comments because I know it's everybody's favorite. But if it's not your favorite, let me know in the comments section why it's not your favorite. At 39, I have Chalky Milk. And Chalky Milk is a limited edition bar soap that they come out with every now and then. The medium grip bar soap smells very chocolatey, but it's very masculine. Wasn't my favorite bar soap at all because um, I don't want to smell like a chocolate bar. But with it being a medium grip bar soap, I enjoy using it. At 38, I have Ruthless Rinse. Now, Ruthless Rinse is one of the bar soaps that came out with the first edition of the Star Wars bar soap collection. You know, they featured the dark side and the light side. And Ruthless Rinse was my favorite out of the dark side, but it's not one of my favorite bar soaps, just out of the collection. It was very masculine, but it had a hint of spice to it and a, a hint of a smoky scent to it. And one thing that I remember about this bar soap is when I used it, you will notice that black sand is in this bar soap because you'll see it in your shower. At number 37, Eucalyptus Greek Yogurt. Now, eucalyptus Greek yogurt is a medium grit bar soap. One thing about this bar soap that's cool is that it has eucalyptus in it, which is great if you have sinus congestion and the Greek yogurt is very hydrating and conditions your skin. But the fragrance smells like it sounds eucalyptus and it's very masculine, very essential oily fragrance type of smell. When I did my top five 
when I first tried Dr. Squash, this bar soap was ranked at number three. But right now, if I look at all the bar soaps, I will rank this number 37. At 36, I have Spearmint Basil. Spearmint Basil was another bar soap that was one of my first choices because it has spearmint in it. Honestly, this bar soap kind of smells like something your grandmother would have. Reminds me of something my grandmother had in her house, but <laughs> zero grip bar soap. If you want the memories of your grandmother or your grandparents, I recommend this bar soap. At number 35, we have Frosted Peppermint. Now this is a limited edition bar soap that usually releases around Christmas time. I'm a fan of peppermint and I really like it, but it's not strong at all. And that's why I put it at 35. Since we're talking about the Christmas season, there was another bar soap that they just started releasing last Christmas or two Christmases ago at number 34, Snowy Pine Tar. It doesn't smell anything like regular pine tar. It has more of a citrus scent to it. I enjoy using it. I rank it at 34. At number 33, Stone IPA. Now Stone IPA was a bar soap that they released in partnership with the brewing company that makes Stone IPA. I remember this bar soap like it was yesterday. I remember using it and it had more of a citrus lemony scent to it. I really enjoy using the bar soap and right now I don't even have it. Fragrance was nice, but I rank it at 33. It just wasn't better than the next few bar soaps. At 32, we have Spidey Suds. Spidey Suds was released last year. The scent of it is raspberry. It's a masculine smelling bar soap and it has a medium grip and I enjoy using this bar soap. If they do release this because it is a limited edition bar soap, I would recommend trying it out if you're a fan of Marvel or Spider-Man or if you're a fan of Raspberry, pick this up, but it's very masculine. At 31 and 30, we have this whole collection, which is the Batman edition. These are limited edition bar soaps and it came in a special box. This box featured Batman brick and the Riddler Enigma. The fact that they came out with this and they designed this box like this and it even had a riddle with the Riddler bar to find out what the scent was. I thought it was amazing. It was one of the most creative boxes, creative releases that the Dr. Squash has had. But I had to put the Batman brick at number 31 because although I like the design and I like the fragrance, which is pretty different, it just doesn't rank better than the than the next ones that's coming. It has a hint of smoke, but then there's another scent to it. Still, it's still nice. It smells way better than the Darth Vader bar soap. The Riddler bar soap was a really nice smelling bar soap. It smells really nice. I like the color of it. I like the theme of it. It smells more like on the apple side, but very, very masculine. A mixture of apple, hint of smoke, very nice collection. But compared to the next set of bars, just don't smell better. At 29, I have Black Hole. Black Hole is a limited edition bar soap that has medium grit, and it's a part of the Galaxy Collection. The one thing I remember about this bar soap is the scent of it. Out of all the bar soaps that Dr. Squash has, this is one of the only bars that I've experienced this scent sticking around on my skin, and I really liked it. That's one of my favorite features of this bar soap. All right, fellas, at 28, we have Bachika Wow Wow. Bachika Wow Wow is a limited edition bar soap and it comes out around Valentine's Day. The scent of this bar soap is rose and chocolate, which matches the theme of Valentine's Day. I really like this bar soap. It smells really good and it is a zero grip bar soap so you can use this every day. If this bar soap becomes available, I would recommend you get it. At number 27, we have Area 51 Brick. Area 51 Brick is a zero grip bar soap and it was a part of the Galaxy limited edition release. I remember this bar soap a lot because it had a very nice earthy scent to it. It reminds me of what maybe hippies might smell like. I really like this bar soap. It has zero grit, so I was able to use it every day. The first bar soap I got of this, I used it up and I had to order another one. At 26, we have Mars Bar. Mars Bar is a medium grit bar soap and it is another bar soap that was included in the Galaxy Edition release. I like this bar soap. I went on vacation to New York with my wife and this is the bar soap that I took and I remember it very well because I enjoyed my time in New York and I had a nice bar of soap with me that had medium grit, has a nice hint of spice to it. 
and it reminded me of hot tamales nice cinnamon spicy fragrance i really like this bar so at number 25 we have summer citrus now summer citrus is a light grip bar soap and this was the second light grip bar soap that dr squash released this bar soap was to replace cedar citrus which used to be a part of one of the regular edition bar soaps it's not really a bad smelling bar soap like it's nice it's very citrusy and all of that stuff but it's just a middle of the of the road bar soap and that's why it's at 25. But the fact that it's light grit was one of my favorite things about it. Light grit bar soaps are nice because you can still get the exfoliating features, but it's just very, very comfortable. Now, Cedar Citrus is one of those bar soaps. Again, it was a middle of the road bar soap. If it was still available, I would rank that one at 24. I think that it smelled better than this. It was more citrusy, more orangey scented. This one is more on the, it's, it's still citrusy, but it's more on the, lemon side that one was more on the orange side and i like that better than i like this one at 23 we got bay rum bay rum was one of the first bar soaps that i used first ranking i've ever done i ranked five bar soaps and this one ranked at number four even though i ranked at number four i still really enjoyed the bar soap i like the fragrance to it it's more of a citrus meats spicy bar soap put it all in one it's a very nice very enjoyable bar soap but i i really enjoy this bar soap it smells really good and i really like it at number 22 we have gold moss my experience with gold moss was like my experience with outcast equimini's album if you guys are fans of hip-hop when equimini came out i wasn't a huge fan of it but after listening to it over and over it's one of the best outcast albums that ever came out that's how i feel about with gold moss Gold Moss was a bar soap that I didn't like at first, but after using it over and over, I became a fan of it. Now, I really liked Gold Moss because it had a very special scent to it, and it's more on a masculine but floral scent, very nice smelling bar soap. I really enjoyed it. At 21, Deep Sea Goat's Milk. Now, Deep Sea Goat's Milk is one of the first bar soaps that I had ever try it out during my ranking of five bar soaps that i had tried this bar soap ranked number five at the time when i tried it i had no idea what this bar soap smelled like because it's called um deep sea goat's milk don't nobody know what deep sea goat's milk smelled like i picked it to see what it smelled like because i thought it had a funny name and i was very surprised by the smell and the scent was very very nice it had a nice sweet smell to it very nice, very pleasant, and I really enjoyed it. Better surprise you. All right, gents, at number 20, I have Grapefruit IPA. It smelled exactly like grapefruit, and I like grapefruit. I'm a huge fan of grapefruit, and I like the scent of it, and of course, I'm a fan of citrus smelling fragrances, so that's why I rank it at number 20. At 19, I have Coconut Castaway. A Coconut Castaway, I believe it came out last year, and it was the first light grip bar soap that came out now i remember using this bar soap and i really enjoyed it because it was light grit i still got the benefits of exfoliating myself but it was very comfortable and i also like the fragrance of it it does have hints of coconut to it but it has a touch of citrus to it as well and it's a very nice smelling bar soap at 18 we have only hope soap only hope soap was a part of the first edition of the star wars collection bar soaps and the themed character was Obi-Wan Kenobi. The thing about Only Hope Soap is when I got my collection, I really liked the fragrance of this bar soap. I was disappointed because the fragrance wasn't that strong. So I don't know if they gave me some old soaps or the soaps, maybe like they first edition, maybe they was trying them out. They was made very well, but the fragrance was not strong at all. And that's why I have it ranked at 18. But if the scent was stronger, then it would probably be ranked higher. And from what I understand, they sell it at Walmart. That's what somebody told me in the comments. I'm not sure if it's true, but if you've seen it at Walmart before, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I'll go check it out, pick it up, and do another review on it. At number 17, we have Moon Rock. Now, last time I did a ranking, this was ranked pretty higher because it was one of my favorite bar soaps. I really enjoyed it. Um, it smelled very, very good. And this was my favorite bar soap out of the Galaxy Edition collection. And it still is my favorite one because it smells really good. 
However, it's a heavy grip bar soap. So heavy grip bar soaps aren't that comfortable for me. So I gotta be light with this bar soap. But I really like the scent a lot and I would recommend picking this up. All right, fellas, at number 16, we have the Suds of Darkness. Now Suds of Darkness was a part of the second edition of the Star Wars collection. And this collection was better than the first one, in my opinion. I like every last bar of soap in this collection. Suds of Darkness smells really nice. And it's a part of the dark side with this collection. It smells really good. And I was very impressed with it. It's a medium grit bar of soap, but you guys know if I'm gonna use grit, of course I'm gonna use light grit, but if I need something heavy, I wanna use medium grit because heavy is too, too heavy for me. At 15, I have Birchwood Breeze. Now you guys might be looking at me like I'm crazy, and I kind of think that a little bit too for the fact that this is at 15, but Birchwood Breeze is a heater. Like that bar soap smells amazing. And the funny thing about it is that when I first smelled it, I was like, man, this would be a great bar soap to be a deodorant. And they created a deodorant. So you can get both right now, but it smells amazing. And number 14, I have Wisdom Wash. Wisdom Wash is a part of the first edition Star Wars collection. And it was my favorite out of all four bar soaps that was available during that release. But again, it was a bar soap that the scent was not very strong, but it smelled so good, I put it at 14 because it smelled good. But if they made the scent stronger, it would probably be in my top five, to be honest with you. But because it's not strong, I had to leave it where it is right now. At number 13, I have King of the Bricks. King of the Brick was a Jurassic Park edition bar soap. I think this actually came out this year, and this is my favorite collection out of the ones that came out this year. All the other ones was, wasn't great releases, but this is the best release that they had in 2023. This is a heavy grip bar soap, but it fortunately is not available right now. But if it becomes available, like if they give you like a, a mystery box, which I think they had available like last week or a couple weeks ago, or I don't know if it's still available right now, then I would recommend you get this. Hopefully it's in your mystery box, because this is amazing. It smells really good, and I would probably say it's one of my favorite heavy grip bar soaps, even more than um, Moon Rock, but this smells better than Moon Rock. Um, it's very, um, oh, it smells so good. It has a, a floral fragrance to it with a touch of citrus, and it's very masculine, so great bar soap to pick up. It smells amazing. At number 12, we have Werewolf Wash. Werewolf Wash is a limited edition bar soap that comes out during Halloween. Now with the Werewolf Wash, I ordered, I think I ordered three of these and I used one of them and I really enjoy using this bar soap. This is a heavy grip bar soap, but it wasn't that aggressive as all the other heavy grip bar soaps. And I believe that was one of my favorite things about this bar soap. So it was really nice to use. All right, fellas, at number 11, Irish Cream and Whiskey. Irish Cream and Whiskey is one of my favorite limited edition bar soaps. It has a very interesting scent to it. I can't really explain it, but it's amazing. I really like it a lot. And if I could, anytime it released, I will pick it up. It's very great. A nice smelling bar soap. If you ever see this bar soap available, which it usually comes out around St. Patrick's Day, I will recommend you pick it up. It'll probably be one of your favorites as well. At number 10, we have Freedom Fresh. Now, Freedom Fresh was ranked higher in my last ranking. I think it was ranked, it was like in my top three. And when I first got this, I really, really enjoyed the fragrance to it. It smells really good. It was very amazing. And this bar soap comes out around the 4th of July. This has zero grit. That's another one of my favorites. This could be used every day. If you can get your hands on this, make sure you pick this up. At number nine, I got Wood Barrel Bourbon. Wood Barrel Bourbon is a bar soap that smells similar to something that you would want your cologne to smell like. And the fact that it's a bar soap, it's a bonus. I believe it's a medium grip bar soap. I don't remember, but all I remember is that bar soap smells amazing. Now you guys probably looking at me saying that it should be ranked higher. I don't know y'all, these next ones is bangers to me, but Wood Barrel Bourbon smells amazing. They also have a deodorant available, so the fact that it's a soap and a deodorant that you can use, it just makes me happy all over. At number eight, I gotta put Drunken Pumpkin. They don't even make that anymore, you guys. That's how amazing it was, but if you guys wanna know what Drunken Pumpkin smells like, 
it smells exactly like wood barrel bourbon. It smells just like it. Only difference is that it was a zero grit bar soap. Now that's a big debate on whether they're the same bar soap. I think they're the same. That's probably why they don't come out with it anymore. Drunken Pumpkin used to come out during Halloween. Now, they don't even come out with it no more and a lot of people be asking for it, but you don't really have to ask for it because Drunken Pumpkin is wood barrel bourbon. On eBay, they were selling this bar soap for $99. At number seven, I got Cool Fresh Aloe. Cool Fresh Aloe was one of the first bars that I used and I really enjoyed it. As a matter of fact, this bar soap was one of the only bar soaps that my wife complimented me on. When I ranked the five bar soaps that I got, this bar soap was ranked number one and it smells amazing. This is also one of the bar soaps that is always available. It's not a limited edition bar soap. And if I had to pick six, this would probably be one of those bar soaps that I'll always have to include in my six, but it would probably be ranked number two. And number six, I have Crypto Cleanse. Why is this ranked at number six? And it's supposed to smell like mint and bananas? Psh, I don't know guys, but this bar soap smells amazing. I'm glad that I got two of them because man, if I would've just bought one of these, I would've been very mad at myself. If this ever comes out, pick it up and let me know what you guys think. Matter of fact, if you guys try this bar soap, let me know where you guys will rank this in the comment section below. At number five, it's one of the bar soaps that's a part of the second edition collection of the Star Wars bars. And that is the Sinister Scrub. It's a part of the dark side of this collection. And they did an amazing job because the dark side bar soaps smell amazing. In the first edition, all the dark side bar soaps smell horrible. At number four, we have Resistance Rinse. Resistance Rinse is also a part of this collection. And I really like this bar soap because it has a nice masculine floral scent to it. All right, fellas, at number three, we have Fresh Falls. Last time we did this review, Fresh Falls was number one. And I was number three because Dr. Squash just came out with two bars that smell better than that. Fresh Falls is an amazing smelling bar soap. If you have to ask me, it's the best bar soap that they have, a part of the regular collection of bar soaps that they have available all year round. This is a bar soap that I would definitely have to put in my six. I love this bar soap. And number two, Legendary Lather, which is, I guess you guessed it, a part of the second edition collection of the Star Wars bar soaps. This collection is inspired by Luke Skywalker, one of my favorite characters. This bar soap smells amazing. I love it. Now to me, this bar soap smells earthy, kind of smells like a little hint of grass, but more citrusy. I don't know, it smells good to me. It smells really good. At number two, this bar soap is a banger. All right, fellas, last but not least, at number one, I have to put Raptor Rinse. Raptor Rinse smells amazing. And as you see, I don't have a bar soap in my hand. You know why? Because I used it up. But when it comes out again, I'll probably pick it up again. Bar soap was amazing. I believe it was a medium grip bar soap. I did a review on it a couple months back. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it up here and in the description below if you want all the details on it. Bar soap smells amazing. I remember it having some type of grit and I didn't mind it at all. It's very comfortable. I used that bar up real fast. It smelled so amazing and after I used it, I was disappointed because it was gone and I didn't have another one. All right, fellas, I know you guys are sad, but we finally done. If you guys made it this far, shout out to y'all for watching it this long. But I finally was able to give you my more up-to-date ranking. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And also, let me know what your top five are. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button because it helps support my channel. I want to send a special shout out to all my Dapper Crats out there. Thanks for watching. Always remember to be a gentleman, stay dapper, and I'll see you guys next video.